Hey guys, Outdoor Enthusiast 88 here again. And this is a Safari Land SLS Tactical Drop Leg Holster designed for the Beretta 92 series and M9. This is a military surplus, brand new in the package. As far as I could tell, uh, they are coming in really cheap online. Last I saw was 34 bucks to get yourself one of these. And you can see this thing is nice. These are running for 100 bucks plus usually. So I'll post a link below on where you guys can find these. But these must be coming in as surplus right now due to the fact that the SIG won the contract and the Breda 92 is on the way out. So let's test it out. So this is how the holster comes to you. It comes in a big plastic bag, some basic instructions in here, owner's manual. I believe it has some care instructions on here, basic maintenance and care of the holster, little wrench on the inside. There you go. And that wrench is used for the various hex screws around the holster. Uh, it is a two-part design. You'll see it has the outer shell holster part right here, as well as the thigh piece right here, connect in the middle. And all this is connected by various screws and rivets. So it's, it can be all be adjusted, be taken apart, cleaned, whatever you need. Uh, you'll see the straps here are highly adjustable, a real basic kind of buckle system, just like that. They seem to be pretty secure, pretty sturdy, decent quality. Uh, this whole thing is run off of Velcro as well. Uh, they do have these Velcro straps here to kind of cinch these extra ends down. And even the straps themselves can be used with the Velcro. Uh, very sticky, you can see, works really well. And that's actually how this is partly on there. You see, notice that? So that's gonna really help secure it once you adjust it. Uh, even the top here has Velcro. In fact, uh, half the Velcro is up here, half of it down here. So this thing can be stuck really close to the belt, real tight onto the belt, whichever way you need. Extra cinch pieces right here. Uh, and that brings me to the point where adjusting this is kind of a pain. Uh, when you first get it, it's gonna be kind of just generic one size fits all adjustment. You're gonna to wanna to go and fine tune it uh, up here to kind of fit this width of your belt, as well as the length on where you want this to go and how far down you want it to run. And the same goes for these right here, these legs you'll see, of course, with the thigh, you got a little bit thicker on top and kind of going down towards the knee right here. So it's gonna have to be set up like that uh, to be, I think, pretty much cinched down almost when you first get it. So adjustments is key. You'll see it does have some grippy two strips here, little rubberized strips that are pretty decent right there. And the inside, that helps kind of grip your pant leg so that way it doesn't slip around too much and that seems to work pretty good. Uh, very comfortable holster, which is uh, hasn't really had any problem, haven't really had any problems with it yet. Uh, it does have a couple of cool features to it. It has a guard right here, which is kind of, I think it's almost like an anti-theft guard. So someone can't really, it's a little harder for someone to reach down, uh, but it is kind of a good spot for your thumb because in fact, this helps guide it as well as, because what's gonna happen is someone's trying to reach for your gun, in a security situation, this is gonna help block this button, and this button is how you unlock the pistol. So this is a locking mechanism. You can see right there, it is a simple spring-loaded button. Push it down, swivel it forward. Push it down, swivel it forward. And you'll notice that there is a nice rubber coating on the inside here, helps with wear and tear on your firearm as you draw it and reholster. And I do have my Breda 92 FS right here, unloaded of course. And you can see, slides in no problems, and then locks in like that. And you're not gonna get this thing out unless you push this button to draw it out. And I'll even show you guys that again. Real simple, pretty reliable system. No problems with it whatsoever so far. Uh, this holster itself, it seems to work really well with uh, the way it's designed. It looks like it's actually canted just a hair forward so you can get your hand on the grip first. Uh, it doesn't appear to be too much adjustability in terms of that cant. Kind of looking around right there, you can even see the model on the bottom. They actually kind of melted it into the plastic, a little stamp there, uh, Breda 92 series. You can see that, there's the code for the holster itself. 
there doesn't seem to be much adjustability there. Uh, it looks like you could remove some of this stuff if you want to. If you don't want these features, you can take them all off, make it real basic. Uh, on the inside here is a roller, if you guys can see that. It is a roller on the inside there, and that is actually what's gonna butt up to your trigger guard. Uh, and that's gonna help know when this, whole, when this uh, firearm is holstered all the way perfectly because you don't have to either over insert it or have it too high up where you can't activate this. So that is a good feature there. And it looks like even that's removable if you really want to. If you wanna even be able to push this down a little deeper and use the holster retention itself to jam that in there, you can take away all these features if you need to. So let me go ahead and show you guys what this looks like on and kind of compare and contrast to a regular belt holster with Kydex and just kind of let you guys know what I think about these two. So here she is on. How I did that was you have your two straps here. You just wrap them around your leg, click it in, see on the bottom one. Click it in, you're gonna to wanna to kind of, like I said before, make adjustments, make sure these fit good, not too tight, but not too loose where you're relying solely on your belt up here to hold this up. Because the other thing is you have to loop your belt through here. You wanna make sure these straps are a decent, snug fit. That way it helps keep the holster up and you don't feel like you're dragging your pants down with it on. Uh, that being said, it is a very com comfortable rig, I think. Uh, pretty easy to use, good mechanics to it. I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, it's an excellent way to have something on the range where you don't have to worry about your shirt getting away or anything like that because if you look at like one of these holsters here, this is a basic Kydex holster for the Breton 92 FS. This is an outside of the waistband. The buckles you put on your belt up here. All right, and yes, it's close to your belt and it's actually a good way to conceal carry. Uh, people will use these kind of holsters all the time. I do enjoy them. Uh, but the, the reason why you might not want to use one of these sometimes is maybe you're carrying a backpack or you're running a tactical vest, uh, or maybe you have a shirt like this where it could get in the way quite a bit, uh, unless you tuck it in. Whereas with a drop lid like this, yes, it's not as close, definitely can't be concealed, but the benefit is your holster and pistol are down here versus up here nice and tight, so you can do whatever you want. Uh, with your shirt, whatever you want, with a chest rig or a tactical vest or a backpack on, and you know the firearm is right here at your side. And also the other benefit is the fact that you can see where my hand kind of dangles down versus reaching up here, drawing the hole from the holster up here and using it that way, right here, it's right there. So you can just grab it, draw, reholster pretty easily, whereas up here it's gonna be a little bit higher you have to grab it, pull it all the way out. So that's just something to consider. I like both, honestly. I use both now, especially with this. I actually like running this at the range quite a bit now, but I use these for almost all my pistols anyways. So uh, these kinds are here aren't too bad as well. But all right, guys, so that's all I got. You know, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions below. I'm gonna put a link below on where I got this. this. It's off of Amazon right now. I think as of this morning, this post date, it is $40. And they, I've seen them as low as like 34, all the way up to 50, and then the competition is up closer to 100 bucks, for the, especially for a right leg. Left leg is usually a pretty uh, better price, but a right leg is usually a premium price. So I will post the links below, and you guys can take a look. But hey, subscribe to the channel. Again, let me know if you have any questions below, and I'll see you in the next review.